Hi everyone. So let's get right into the reading, whatever the cards want to say. This may or may not be for you. I channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take this if it's resonating with you. We've got Choose a Path. And I really appreciate your comments. Even just leaving a heart comment, it really helps me. I like hearing your stories too. Choose a path. Why mental instability? Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. I think I, let me see. Is this person, this person's meant, you have like a secret admirer. Are they mentally unstable? This could be for that Sagittarius energy group too, as well. You don't have to be a Sagittarius to be in this, in this energy, but I was getting like a secret admirer energy, but I feel like they were, um, not, not that autism is like a mental in, you know, disability or anything like, like, I'm not trying to say that, but I was getting like a neurodivergent, like maybe autistic energy for that, for the Sagittarius group. Um, cause it feels like somebody who either they're neurodivergent or they, they might struggle with like bipolar or some kind of mental illness that you might not know about. Cause I was getting a very sweet kind of boy or girl next door type energy with Sagittarius. But it's like the issue was they were kind of too shy, like they weren't really pursuing you. They didn't, it was like somebody who's very sweet, but it, it's like they don't know how to take charge. And I'm getting this energy here of someone that's, you know, if this is your reading, it's like somebody that's kind of intimidated. I feel like this is like a new person or a secret admirer type. I mean, I think it's like a new person in the sense of... um. I just get the energy of someone that like doesn't have a lot of experience or there's something there's something hidden about them there's something that you don't know about them that we're going to get into because it feels like for a lot of them they've been kind of waiting and hoping and praying for a chance to talk to you a chance it's like they've been waiting for something with you to 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 get off the ground it's like things haven't really been moving with you this could be someone that you see like out in public like um, if you go somewhere, like maybe they, um, maybe they're, maybe like you run into them like a cafe or something of that sort, or, a uh, trying to think here. It's like they admire you. They really, they really think highly of you, but they're not really making a move. I feel like their spirit guides are trying to push them to make a move too with these synchronicities, divine intervention. Could be something with cats as well here too. But it's kind of like they're just so shy or they're so reserved and it's like they're waiting and hoping and praying for a chance to talk to you, to get to know you better. That's why I really feel like it might be a new person for a lot of you because it feels like somebody that... It's like you're not aware of this. The divine is pushing them to ask you out or to give you some kind of love offer here. I feel like they want to take it slow and really get to know you better. You know, we have an adventure, honeymoon, vacation. So they might want to travel with you as well. They might, they want to, um, it's like they're going to force themselves to take it slow, but they want to move quicker. They're already thinking about things that they want to do with you long term, like places they might want to go. Uh, you know, things they might want to do. Apology and regret. X, the past. Toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives. Reconciliation. Listening and understanding, new perspective. So the storyline I'm getting here is I feel like for some of you, this is actually somebody that went back to an ex. It's like you guys were getting to know each other or you were friends. You were kind of, there's this kind of shy, sweet, getting to know each other energy. And I feel like they really regret going back to an ex because it didn't work out for them. 
I feel like this was an ex. I feel like this was an ex that they had a lot of love for. Like they had a, a long history with this ex, so they kind of chose what was familiar to them. They chose to reconcile with this ex. Red flags and hidden motives. It didn't go well though. They just ended up going back to that ex, kind of just for closure. Like it was just to end that cycle for good, because now they have a new perspective on it. They're not seeing this the same way. For others, this could just be like past behaviors. It's almost like they were they were kind of coming forward towards you and then they went back to the, fami the, the familiarity. I think, I almost feel like this ex might have gotten in their head too because I feel like a very innocent kind of sweet, not, not to excuse this, but I'm getting like a very kind of innocent, sweet energy from this person. And I feel like if they were just getting to know you, it's like they might have, they kind of got sucked back into something from their past. I feel like this person might have played on their um, fears as well because they have some kind of mental instability. And I feel like this person was might have been like, you know, this new person's not going to love you. She's He or she isn't going to accept that about you. Like, just come back and be with me. Let's give it one more chance. Like, you really want to go start over somewhere new. And I guess they decided to go back to what they were familiar with. Yeah, it led to sadness. It led to, they got swept up in the moment with an ex. And I feel like it really led to to pain, to sadness. They were very submissive and weak-willed. This person, I mean, this person that I'm channeling is very sweet, but it's like they don't, I don't know if you would want this because it's, it's like, and I'll keep channeling. If this is your storyline and you do want this person and you want me to keep channeling it, just let me know. Just leave a comment below. Um, I love hearing your stories and, and just, you know, all the support. I really appreciate your comments and likes and, and subscribing to the channel as well. But yeah, this energy I get from this person, it's like they're not a bad person. I feel like this this male or female, it's like this person is very um, sweet. They're very in, in, uh, innocent. They might be neurodivergent. But it's like they need a stronger backbone. This person is, it's like they're too submissive. They're too weak-willed. So it's like, do you guys... Are you guys wanting to know about this? Like, do you guys still want this person? Because it just feels like somebody that... It's almost like you have to be the dominant one in the connection because they don't know how to be or they don't have the experience. This might be somebody that, like, has only been with, like, a couple people their entire life. So it's like maybe maybe they had, like, a 10-year history with this ex and then they met you and it was new and exciting and they wanted to go for it. But it's like, you know, the ex is familiar. That's That's what they've known the past, you know... 10 20 years or however long it's just this energy of like they went back to something from the past like they were getting to know you I feel I feel like it was kind of like a new energy like I don't think you guys I don't think your connection got that far off the ground like I think there was like a lot of depth like you guys really had like like a big crush on each other or you guys were really um like emotionally you were really feeling it like puppy love like you guys were really um both kind of into each other and I feel like you guys were it might have even been unspoken it might have been one of those things where you guys were kind of just like friends but you can both tell through body language that there was something more there or like co-workers or something but like you could always it, it's like maybe there was some flirting like you guys could both tell there was some kind of attraction I'm just getting like daydreaming on like you guys are both daydreaming about each other pretty much is what I'm feeling but yeah, something from their past kind of took their energy away from you. Like they went back and they kind of, um, it might be one of those things where it's like you guys were friends and then it's like out of nowhere you find out that like they went, they got back with their ex and you're like, what the hell? Like I thought it was going to go somewhere. And you kind of maybe thought the connection was just in your head because you're like, you know, like what happened? But I think that this person, um, just very weak will, they need, they need to, they needed to stand up to this ex, but they got sucked back into it. I feel like the feelings were mutual between you two, though. But um, tell me more about mental instability. What is it that, like, they're afraid of you knowing something about them? And I think this is how that ex got into their head. I think the ex was like, well, you know, I've known you. I've known you. Like, you, you're, it's familiar with me. I know all your weaknesses. I know all your fears and your insecurities. I know, you know, this mental illness or this mental instability or whatever it is. It's like, I know all those things. You really want to start over with someone new who might not accept those things. And I feel like this person just, yeah, it's like they just went right back to the comfort zone. Pause, reflection, rest, pride and stubbornness. 
Yeah, it's like they had to go back to it, I think, to finally end that cycle or that pattern with that person. Like, they ended up just having arguments with that person, like, not talking or just... It was, like, the same thing as before. They kind of got seduced into going back, and now they really regret it. And now they're... they're. I think they're looking for a way out, or a lot of them have already found a way out. Yeah, some of them are spying on you because they feel like maybe you're... Um, they're kind of worried they lost their chance. They're like, they're nostalgic and they're wishing, they wish they had just gone for you in the first place. And this person's, yeah, the, the feelings are mutual. Their feelings are mutual. I want to start doing some more, um, just short readings. So I'm just going to continue this just because I want to, um, I feel like to get new subscribers too, I need to do shorter readings because like no one's going to pick, no one's going to click on like a 45 minute long reading if they, if they've never heard of me before, you know what I mean? But I am going to do this um, in an extended reading. So just look on my channel. I'm going to post this at the same time. So I'm going to go more into what this person's um, mental illness or whatever it is that they wanted to hide from you. I'm going to look into that. But yeah, basically the energy I get right now is like they're, they, they messed up by choosing this ex and they know it. They really regret it. They're wanting to come back. They're wanting another chance, but maybe they feel like, I feel like this person is very sweet and very loyal too. So it could be a situation where they were like with the ex for a few months or so. And it's like, now you guys have kind of gone back to just being friends and like not flirting. If this is like a coworker or a neighbor or something of that sort, and so now they're like, well, damn, like, how do I, how do I get it off the ground? How do I get it started up again? You know, cause they're not sure where you're at, but they're spying on you. They're watching your social media or they're watching you like at work. They're trying to get a feel for where you're at and, and kind of feel your body language out too, if you guys are together in public. So anyway, I'm going to put this out there and, um, check my channel for, uh, the part two of this for the looking more into the, the mental instability here.